Next, we are going to draw the projections, perspective projection of a pentagonal prism that is lying on its rectangular face. Okay. Till now, we were drawing solids which was lying on its base or resting on its base. Here, the solid is going to rest on its rectangular face. Okay. Just assume that we are having a solid like this. Okay. This is a rectangular prism. Okay, just assume that this is a pentagonal prism. It is resting on its rectangular face with the axis perpendicular to picture plane. Okay, now as usual we have to draw the top view and front view. Here if we are viewing, assume that this is a pentagonal prism. So in front view we will be seeing the pentagon and in top view we will be seeing the rectangle. Okay, in this case we have to draw the front view first. We have to draw the front view first then only we will be able to draw the top view okay since axis is perpendicular we have to draw the front view first then we have to draw the top view okay now coming on to our figure as usual we will be starting with our picture plane and ground line we will be starting with our picture plane ground line then station point is specified it is 50 mm in front of picture plane 40 mm above the ground so as usual i will be drawing our lines okay locus of station point i will be identifying line of sight now i have to start here from the front view I have to start from the front view. It is resting on its rectangular face on the ground. Okay. So this edge should touch ground line. So we will be starting from ground line. I will be marking one edge on ground line and then I will be drawing the front view of our pentagon prism which is a regular pentagon. Okay. Pentagon of side 30 mm. Okay. This is elevation. So name front view. So name it as a dash 1 dash, b dash 2 dash, c dash 3 dash, d dash 4 dash and e dash 5 dash. Project all these points till picture plane. It is said that one pentagonal face should touch picture plane. It is specified that one pentagonal face should touch picture plane and the axis is perpendicular to picture plane. So we will be projecting all these points and then we will be drawing the top view. When you are drawing the top view, make sure one side is one face is touching picture plane. So when we are projecting it here, we will be getting A, B, C, D and E. Here we will be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as usual, we will be identifying the station point. Station point is 70 mm to the left of the center of the prism. Station point should be 70 mm to the left of the center of the prism. So from the center, I will be taking it towards left side. I will be getting SP. I will be getting SP dash. As usual, you join all the points in top view to SP and join all the points in front view to SP dash. Now, since A, B, C, D and E are touching picture plane, this itself will be our capital A, B, C, D and E. You need not project the point separately to find A, B, C, D. So this itself will be capital A. This itself will be capital B, capital C, capital D and capital E. Okay, our aim is to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as usual, you can see the visual rays are touching the picture plane at different points. So the line joining 5 is touching here. Line joining 1 is touching here, 4, this is point of 2 and this is point of 3. Okay, just look at the names and project it towards top view. Okay, the first point is of corner 5. I will be projecting, this is of corner 5, I will be projecting it till line, the line starting from E, e dash 5 dash. So, I will be getting somewhere here. So, this will be 5. Next point is 1. 1 I'll be projecting it downwards. I should lie on line A dash 1 dash. So I'll be getting 1 somewhere here. Next is uh, I can project 2. Okay 2 I'll be projecting it. I'll be getting somewhere here. Okay this will be 2. Then next I can project 3. 3 will be lying somewhere here. And last I'll be projecting 4. 4 will be lying somewhere here. Okay so I have got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, as usual, I will be joining the outermost points. Okay, I am going to start from A1. I am going to start from A1. A1 will be visible. Then from that 1, 5. Then comes 5, 4. Then comes 4, D. Then comes C, D. And C, B. And uh, back to a a b okay these are the outermost edges okay the observer standing here if he is viewing the this face a b c d will be fully visible so this face can be made completely dark a b b c c d d e a this will be fully visible and uh, one more edge will be visible that is this edge e phi edge e phi also will be visible if he is viewing from this side so you can make edge e phi also visible 
okay and e5 will also be visible rest of the edges will be invisible 1 2 will be invisible dotted 2 3 will be invisible dotted and 3 4 will be invisible dotted okay similarly we are having two more edges c3 and b2 c3 and b2 also will be dotted this will be dotted this will be dotted okay at the end you will be getting a figure like this now since a b c d is touching which plane i did not project any of these points this itself will be a b c d now if it was some distance above picture plane then we, we would have to project a b c d also in that case we will be getting another pentagon inside if it was above picture plane if this solved was some distance behind picture plane then we would have got another pentagon also here okay 